Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Scatino, aka Scat, and we're going to be taking a look at the Dead Space 3 demo today. Um, well, first of all, I need to find that shit. Um, be down here somewhere. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, I actually got a week's early access to it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I got a week's early access to it. Uh, in fact, all Xbox 360 owners got a week's early access to it. If uh, you signed up through the Dead Space website using your EA Origin account, you actually got access to it a week early. It does go on public download next week. Um, but for obviously, for the courtesy of this demo and this video, I'm going to be giving my impressions of it. And to be honest, I was rather underwhelmed. Um, I'll go into more details, you know, as the demo progresses. But for now, let me just um, sort out these settings. The demo doesn't seem to save my controller settings and everything once I quit out for some odd reason. I don't know. Um, there we go. Yeah, so the demo contains both the solo campaign and the co-op campaign. Now. They're both the exact same section, but obviously co-op, you can play online with, you know, somebody else. Um, but we're not going to do that, we're just going to do straight up solo. Um, new game, normal, get started. I'm not going to watch all this because I don't need to wear this chick top me through it, I've already done it. Now, I have no idea um, what part of the game this demo is actually set in, you know, how many hours in. Could be near the beginning, could be in the middle somewhere, I have no idea. Um, what I do know is Isaac is quite familiar with some of the people like you come across in the demo, so it's they're obviously not brand new people that he's just met, so I'd say this demo takes place like a few hours into the game. But then again, like I say, I can't be sure exactly. So let's just wait for him to get up. So it obviously looks like there's been some kind of an of a crash, you know, an aircraft um, disaster, something like that. Obviously, Isaac has survived, quite battered and bruised at this point, but they seem to have arrived on some snowy mountainous region. Um, I don't need to do all that. I just uh, my controls are okay. There's my gun. Yeah. Okay, so. He's obviously looking for somebody called Ella. That's the remains of the wreckage. Objective. Need to find some shelter. So obviously you can still run at this point. He's not um, wounded enough that he can't run. So some ammo. We'll need that. Some more ammo. Health pack. Use that. Yeah, so this is uh, my second time playing through this demo, so obviously it's not um, my very first impressions of the game. Let's just get in here. You gone. Is that a semiconductor? Uh, okay.
Damn dude's walking near me with no fucking head. Ammo clip. Another semiconductor. Okay, let's break some of these boxes. Some more ammo. A Tesla core. Weapon parts. Yeah, there's um, a cr there seems to be a crafting system this time around. So I'm not gonna really bother with that in this demo. I don't think. Just want to show you the actual gameplay. Nothing there. Heavy standard frame, another weapon part. Stasis support. Time events, all that bullshit. That's original. Okay. So that's that done. Clear up now. Now, one thing I love about this is the game looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at that. You can't really complain with graphics like that. And what amazes me is games are still looking this good right at the end of the generation. Just imagine what next generation games are gonna look like. Just try try and imagine in a few years' time when develop when the developers know how to properly um, develop for these next gen consoles, the PS4, the Xbox 720 or whatever it's going to be called, just imagine when they're able to get you know the full power out of them consoles how these games are going to look. It's going to look you know just <laughs> unbelievable, serious. Dude, scrap metal. Come on, let's go. He was halfway through the air and I chopped his legs off. Okay, so let's come down here. Now don't forget this entire game can be played in online co-op if you do choose so. So even though I'm playing it solo at the moment, you don't ne necessarily have to be on your own. Like I say, you can play it with somebody else. Just look at that, look how gorgeous that is, look. Look at the lighting. The snow? That's fucking amazing. Right, so there's some dude up there. We obviously know him. So... <coughs> So let's get in here. Oh no, it's not in there. We need to get through this door. Do some shit. Aim at this. Wheels on the bus go round and round. 
Um, we can upgrade our rig if we so choose. The Arctic survival suit has been unlocked. Yeah, we'll change the suit. So which one? Are we? Yeah, is that the one we're even wearing now? I don't, I don't know what what suit that is. That I'm actually wearing now. We'll we'll see if it looks any different once I come out. Oh yeah, it it looks different now. So maybe that other suit was just more like of uh, the engineer, something like that. So we'll upgrade the rig, upgrade health. Um, I mean, this is all, you know, purposes of the demo, just to show you that you can actually upgrade and shit. I don't need air because there's nowhere in the game that you need air. Uh, there we go. I'll do. Alright, so we've done that, so that means we can actually um, use this little elevator now. Well, Isaac, what were you expecting? Come on then, let's do this. Go motherfucker. Alright, so this is just a case of hitting these little orange bits. And then obviously that dismembers him. That's it. Wow. <laughs> Some boss battle that was. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so let's get up here. See steps. Get some ammo. Okay, I understand that, but I can't be arse crafting shit, I ain't got the time. Isaac Clark must die. I ain't gonna die. Well, I don't plan on dying anytime soon. I might die later on in this demo, but hopefully, considering I've already played through it before, hopefully I'll survive this time. We'll see. Now, see, I don't remember this in the other two games. I don't remember having to fight, like, human soldiers. You know? If anyone else can, then let me know, but I don't remember having to fight human soldiers. I don't find... Having to fight human soldiers are uh, very scary, if I'm quite honest. You know? I mean, they're just soldiers with guns. I mean, for all I care, you could be playing Call of Duty with that, you know? They're dead. Oh. Ugh. 
<laughs> this bit's rather good. I like how they like um, parasites, which can like infest the body and actually control them. That's like actually a pretty good thing to have. But decapitating, I need to kill that. See, one, once you kill it, then the actual parasite actually leaves the body, and it can actually go and in infect other people and control them as well. So. Once you kill them dudes, you have to make sure like you kill the parasite as well. Otherwise, I guess they just keep on coming. Look how beautiful that is, man. I can't get over these graphics. You know, I mean, look. Can you imagine how this is going to look on next gen, like I said before? Pfft. You know, gaming is about to go to a whole nother level. Look at these dudes. See, they're, they're shooting the monsters too, but yet they turn on me, so I ain't waiting about fucking shoot your ass. But, oh yeah, so they come after me now, but then so do the soldiers. So even though I can save their ass, they come after me anyway. It's like, what's the point? What? Oh, you fucking shooting. Let's go. You ain't got a gun like mine. How'd you like them apples, bitch? Oh shit. little things man Come give me me medipacks and shit hydraulic engine not that I've got any fucking time for that but now see what I'm talking about in relation to why I was underwhelmed with this demo like I say you know this is my second time playing through and I think my concerns actually stemmed from the E3 demo, um, last year's E3 demo I think it was, and I think the inclusion of co-op is actually really going to hit hurt the series. I mean I know that might be a controversial thing, a lot of people like multiplayer, yada yada yada, but noise? if you notice playing through this demo it's a lot of, you know, Walking forward, shooting some en enemies, walking forward, shooting some enemies, walking forward, shooting some enemies over and over and over again. Now, this seems to be a new design choice, and they've had to put that in because there's not two separate campaigns. It's all one campaign, so this main campaign, the main story mode campaign, can play, be played fully in drop in, drop out co op. Now, unlike Dead Space 1 and 2, where there was more of a focus on, you know, exploration, you know, exploring the environment, trying to find, you know, different weapons, um, health, ammo, all that kind of stuff. There doesn't seem to be any of that here. I mean, like I say, this is just what I'm thinking about from, you know, playing the demo. They're not going to put the slower pace stuff into, a, you know, a fully co-op game. They're just not going to do that because it's going to turn a lot of people off. You know, you don't want to be spending ages and ages just walking about with somebody online not doing anything. You want to be shooting shit and having fun. You know? So, that's why I'm underwhelmed because I feel like the game has lost some of its soul, to be quite honest. Why aren't this fucking doing this? Oh, that's that one. Yeah, I feel. I mean, because right now I'm not getting any fee. I'm not getting like the sense of atmosphere. You know, the game's not creating a, a, like like a, a, a truly terrifying atmosphere like the last two games did. You know. 
I'm, I'm really not getting that from the game. And I think that's a shame, but I think, you know, Dead Space 2, they tried to include the um, Tacton co-op. No, no, the Tacton competitive multiplayer, which absolutely sucked. Everyone knew it sucked. Um, it was awful. Because they're doing that, because obviously they want to try and um, gain a new audience. You know, they, they, wa they want to attract more people to the game basically and obviously competitive multiplayer didn't work you know deathmatch team deathmatch all that kind of stuff so what else would they be to do other than to include co-op you know and that's exactly what they've done and like I said I'm not saying it's gonna be a bad game I'm really not saying that I'm just saying that I think the game it's it's not going to be the dead space that we all know and love it's got, gonna feel different it's gonna be, feel a lot more action orientated um, you know I, I mean they've still got monsters but I think whereas the past two games were able to create that really you know scary atmosphere you know through the the level design through the sound design I think dead space 3 is gonna be more about you know some cheap scares you know um, shock tactics really I mean you, you seen it earlier on in the demo when like I was walking through that cave thing and shit just like jumped out from the ground I honestly think that's what this fucking things man in my face I think that's what it's the oh, fuck fuck off will ya shit Out my fucking face. There we go. Fucking these things. Yeah, so I think, um, you know, this game is gonna focus more on, you know, just the cheap scares to give you that kind of bit of a thrill. But I think, you know, from just what I gather from this demo, the, the, it's completely devoid of atmosphere and tension. I mean, a killer drill. Honestly, a killer drill. That's what I just thought right then and there. A killer drill. Is that supposed to be scary? That's not scary. A killer drill is not scary whatsoever. It's just, you know, it's to break up the monotonous of these monsters here and to give the co op a bit more, you know, thrill to it. You know, a, another smaller boss battle. That's all that is. That is all that is. So, I don't know, man. I mean, the verdict is definitely out, but I could say it's. I'm definitely not saying it's a bad game. I think you can all see, you know, it's a, it's a pretty decent game. It's going to be a fun game. And it obviously it looks gorgeous, but, you know, in terms of what Dead Space used to be and how this game could have been, I think, you know, they've definitely uh, dropped the ball. I, I can't, kind of think that Visceral sold out, if I'm quite honest. If I'm being quite honest about it, I do. I think they've sold out because they they want they want some of that fucking Call of Duty crowd or something. I mean, look, I've just killed a killer drill. No, I mean if you think about it, I've done like three boss battles now in this demo. I killed that thing near the elevator. I've done the killer drill, and now I'm just about to kill this guy. Although, you want to kill this guy in the demo, but that's the end of the demo right there. <laughs> you know, so that's like, that's what I'm saying. It's uh, the level design, it's just action, action, action. It's gone from, you know, being that survival horror game that took over from Resident Evil to turning into more of an action game now. And that's not, how, that's not what I wanted. To me, that's not what Dead Space is all about. But... Then again, like I say, the verdict is still out. This isn't the full game, this is the demo. Um, we'll see exactly what happens when the full version is released, you know, whether or not my concerns really are justified uh, and they do ring true throughout the whole game. Um, but, you know, definitely hit me up with what you think. Um, if you've played the demo or not, what impressions are you getting? 
Um, but as far as I'm concerned, you know, I, I'm not really feel it, feeling it at this point. But that's just me. So I'm going to end this video here. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, please take on board what I'm saying. And as always, rate, comment, subscribe. I'm your boy Scatino, and I'm out. Peace.